proudly presented by Rolex. Four dead in not even three hours, Tosca is one of the most spellbinding thrillers in the history of opera. Puccini's gripping masterpiece takes the stage of the Opera Bastille in Paris. And a breathtaking performance with Martina Zerafine as the tragic heroine and Marcella Puente as her passionate lover, Caravadossi. Puccini really is ahead of his time because he just deals with emotions in such a wonderful way. There are moments, for example, when Scabia says, open the doors, so Tosca can hear her lover being tortured, and then the orchestra starts, and he says, stronger, stronger, this feels like a film. Puccini is the king of uh, Verismo, and Verismo is reality, and he writes about real people, about real places, about real um, cultures. Drama, passion, betrayal, uh, politics, uh, jealousy, intrigue, torture, everything is there, all the human emotions. I find her to be an incredibly modern woman. She is very religious. But at the same time, she's a free woman. She's not married. She has a lover and she lives her life. The fury of a woman in love with fatal consequences. Tosca murders the diabolical chief of police, Scarpia, who desperately tried to win her for himself. but she can't save her ardent lover, Caravadossi. In this area, Luce van le Stelle and uh, the star shining. He's in the prison. He's surrounded by soldiers. He's alone. It's a goodbye to life. Puccini gave Tosca a gift with this ending. It's only her who sings. When I sang it today, I almost cried, because it is so strong for me when this black curtain falls down, and it is clear what's happening. She dies, and then she's in another dimension. You can see her going into the light. presented by Rolex.